some unscrupulous lawmaker with all the myriads of problems that we have in Nigeria insecurity, banditry, Boko Haram, kidnapping, all manner of evil, and the economy is on a free fall. It's like the government has no control. At depth at the depth of Nigeria skyrocketed. Ombasanjo administration paid off all the debt of this nation, made all debt free. It's we it is is terrible. It the threat of another coronavirus. Now they want to use the uh, the amendment of the Nigerian constitution. They now are proposing some lawmakers in the Senate that what they want to do is to introduce Sharia in all the southwestern state of Nigeria. Tell them I am in the southwestern state of Nigeria. There is no way for Sharia here. Let, let me hear your amen. Tell them, you see, there are people, they, you see, uh, listen to me. It's like we have an absentee president. Give credit to President Muhammad Buhari. He has served Nigeria all his life from childhood. But the man is suffering from extreme fatigue. He is extremely fatigued. He is out of touch with reality. Nigeria is never as divided as this. And the people that he surrounds himself are doing a very horrible job. Those who could help the president, they are not allowing him to help him. They are not allowing them to help him. And they are doing a very horrible job playing the Fulani agenda. It will not work. Now listen to me. They are pushing Nigeria to the brink of war. There shall be no war in Nigeria. We send the war back to their homes. Back to their families. In the name of Jesus. Now listen to this. They are pushing Nigeria to a point of breaking apart. No, we are here by the mercy of God. God has an agenda for Nigeria. Nigeria will not break. We will not break. No, and you know, when I was saying the other time, there's no word you sounded well. When I said Nigeria should not break, we not break your amen, you know, lack of vitamin. <laughs> your amen is not sounding. Whether you believe it or not, I stand on this sacred altar. Nigeria will not break. Nigeria will fulfill destiny. Those that are wanting war for Nigeria and are pushing a sectional agenda, wanting to create trouble, God will give them trouble. From this sacred altar of God, I invoke trouble upon their lives. I invoke trouble upon their hopes in the name of Jesus and I invoke peace upon Nigeria in the east in the west in the north in the south for the Lord God of hosts shall give us peace by all means even if it means removing the troublemakers God will give us peace by all means Tell them to drop the agenda, otherwise, they will begin to drop dead one by one by one. We have lived together in harmony in the southwest. Christians and Muslims for decades since Nigeria started. I grew up in a village where. When the Muslims are celebrating, the Christians will join them in celebration. When the Christians are celebrating, the Muslims will join them in celebration. In the same family, you will find the Muslim life, the Christian life. We are living together. 
So they see that the hijab thing in Quara has not worked. They now want to create religious confusion in Southwest. It will not work. Tell them they should drop the agenda. We won't keep quiet.